Hey guys, it's Ari. Welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be discussing external graphics cards with the 2017 15-inch MacBook Pro. External graphics cards are a great way to increase the compute power of your laptop. The 15-inch MacBook Pro has an RX 560, and that is a decent GPU, but you definitely notice the gains when adding an external graphics card. Also, eGPUs can be used to power external displays, VR experiences, and for general compute. Most external graphics enclosures also come with extra features such as extra Type-C ports, Ethernet connectivity, and the ability to charge your laptop. Some higher-end laptops may require more power than the eGPU can deliver. Make sure before purchasing an eGPU enclosure that you check the compatibility and the requirements that your laptop may need. The eGPU enclosure that I've selected is the Asus XG Station Pro. The features of the Asus XG Station Pro are that it supports a full length, two and a half slot graphics card. The enclosure also has dual 120 millimeter fans for active cooling. The enclosure also supports a single Thunderbolt 3 port and a single USB Type-C port. This enclosure is powered by a 330 watt power supply that's more than capable of powering even the most high-end of GPUs. It comes with two 8-pin power connectors that are more than capable of powering something like NVIDIA's GTX Titans or AMD's Vega Radeon Frontier Editions. On the interior of the enclosure, you'll notice that it has a single PCIe by 16 slot. Asus says this enclosure supports NVIDIA GTX 900 series cards or later, or AMD's Radeon R9 series cards, or later. Also, this enclosure is compatible with both Mac and PC, but for fan control, you're going to want to use Windows. So when using this enclosure with a Mac, your fan control will be set to a default, which is optimized for silence. And the final feature of this enclosure is that it's entirely made of aluminum, between a partnership of Asus and Inwin, giving this enclosure a professional sleek aesthetic that is unique for any desk. Officially, Apple doesn't support the use of NVIDIA graphics cards with external enclosures. So for right now, you'll be required to go with the AMD series of cards because that's the thing that's natively supported by OS X. The card I've selected for my external graphics card experience is the AMD Vega Frontier Edition. It's the best prosumer card you can purchase from AMD at the time. The features of the Vega Frontier Edition are it's built on the Vega GPU architecture, it's on a 14 nanometer FinFET chipset, it's got 16 gigs of HBM2 memory, 4096 stream processors, 13.1 teraflops of compute power, and three 1.4 display ports and one HDMI port. When connecting your eGPU with an AMD card to your Mac, make sure that you have your computer updated to OS X High Sierra 13.4. In this revision, they allowed for the native support of external graphics cards in OS X. It is recommended that you log into your account before you insert your eGPU. You will then see a little graphics icon displayed in the menu bar of the top right of your Mac. If you select this icon, it will display the name of the graphics card you have in your external graphics card unit. When you're done with using your device, make sure you click that icon again so that you can properly disconnect the eGPU. If you do not do this, it will throw an error and it won't let you complete the task. I've decided to use my eGPU to power my dual 24 inch Apple Cinema displays. Now, the only issue I had was that the Apple Cinema displays run on a mini display and the full size display ports on the Vega graphics card are incompatible. Now, I solved that using a cheap Amazon adapter. I bought two of these so that I can power this monitor off this graphics card. And the amazing thing is that in OS X, it recognizes this monitor flawlessly and it requires no additional setup or software. Hope you guys enjoy my eGPU setup.
I will post in the description below the links to where you can find all the products in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and remember to comment, like, and subscribe. See you in the next one.